Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more of my videos. Today, I am back with yet again another background. Guys, I just felt like the other two backgrounds, it was just a little too much. There was a lot going on in the background, literally. So I wanted to change it up a little bit and this is what I came up with and I honestly really, really like it. So I hope you do too. If you have any questions about where any of these things are from, I am going to tell you all the information right now so I can save you the hassle of commenting and waiting for me to respond and all that. So this spiky thing is from Target. It was actually one of the very first decor pieces that I got from my first apartment like four years ago. And then the little box under it is just the Gizu box where the hair oil comes in when you buy it. And then this little storage box is from Home Goods. I actually keep all the products that I'm gonna talk about or review in future videos in there. And then on this side, I have my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works, which is Champagne Toast. And then the handle, the handle holder. The hand, what? The candle holder that the candle's in is from Home Goods, and I got it recently, so I'm sure you can still find it. And then the one behind it, the vase with the three balls, that's from Ikea, and I also got those for my first apartment, so I'm not sure if you can still find them. And then this basket with the flowers and the leaves, those are from Target, and I got those like two weeks ago, so I'm sure you can still find them at your local Target. So anyways, that's that, so let's go ahead and get started with this video. First of all, I do apologize in advance. I am sick. I've actually been sick for like a little over a week and it's honestly not going away. And I'm starting to think that my asthma is flaring up a little bit because I feel really agitated and I have this really bad cough. So I do want to apologize in advance if I sound a little congested and if I have any coughing attacks in the middle of this video. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out Juno and Co's makeup sponges. So I've actually had never heard about this makeup brand. It just came up randomly on my Instagram feed. So Instagram ad, great job. You're literally doing your job because I spend money. I was honestly just so intrigued when I looked into them because they seem to be very innovative type of makeup sponges and the price point is fairly inexpensive so i went ahead and placed an order and this is everything that i got um it was like a bundle and then another sponge and i also got their dry um brush cleaner so one very important fact that i came across is that juno and co is in fact cruelty free so thank you so much juno and co for protecting our animals and not using them in labs upon my research which is very much detective-like research, I found that these two sponges seem to be their most popular ones. So the way that I'm going to be testing these out is I'm going to be doing half of my face with one and half of my face with the other and then we're just going to go from there. So the first one on my list is the Microfiber Rosé Velvet Sponge. I will say, one, I am not a big fan of microfiber or velvet. They just kind of give me like, ugh, goosebumps. I don't... I don't know, it's a little icky to me. So I was a little scared um, about testing this out, especially putting it on my face. But upon the touch, it feels very soft and I'm not as weirded out about it as I thought I was gonna be. This one says to be a makeup brush and blender fusion sponge with microfiber technology. It also claims to save you 50% more makeup product and spend 50% less time applying, which is something that I am totally down with. And it seems to be pretty bouncy, honestly. I am excited to wet this and see how big it's gonna get, if it even gets bigger than this. It also has a flat side, so for um, concealer blending or any smaller areas that you need to get into like around your nose and stuff. And it has a flat bottom so it can stand on its own so it won't roll over while you're doing your makeup and fall on the floor. And it is $6 if you buy it individually, but they have so many different types of bundles on their website which you can test out different types of their products um, and get more for your money. Now let's move on to the other sponge, which is the Cloud Makeup Sponge. I honestly love that name. This one is like a light yellow color. It honestly just looks like a little egg. It has two flat sides, a smaller one and a bigger one. So I really like that. And it has a nice little point to it. 
It doesn't have a flat bottom like the velvet one, but um, I don't mind. I guess my dogs will just end up chewing it anyways. This one was designed with cloud technology, which is a latex free formula of polymers that was whipped into an airy mixture that results in a super soft and stain resistant sponge material that is designed to provide a lightweight, even application with effortless transfer and zero caking. This sponge is actually $5, so one less dollar than the velvet one. I wanted to go ahead and compare them to two, not four, two um, very popular makeup sponges out there on the market, which the first one is obviously the Beauty Blender. And before comparing them, I think we can all agree that we're all over spending 20 freaking dollars for a makeup sponge that honestly, my dogs always end up chewing up and I'm over that. Like, I don't have the time or the money to be spending $20 on a freaking makeup sponge that's gonna end up being a chew toy for my dogs. I have the Beauty Blender right here and then I have the Cloud Sponge. Honestly, there's nothing that really compares to the Velvet one so I'm not even gonna try to compare it because they're just not, not similar. But the Cloud one seems to be very similar to the Beauty Blender. Um, they feel pretty much exactly the same but the Beauty Blender is slightly more bouncy than the Cloud Sponge. Nonetheless, they honestly feel very, very similar. So then I have the bright orange one, which is Real Techniques uh, Beauty Sponge right here. And then I have my Cloud one. And honestly, they feel exactly the same. But I will say that the Real Techniques one seems to be a little more dense than the cloud one and not as bouncy. So close and personal, but I went ahead and wet the sponges and oh my god, I think this is going to be my favorite one. It got so big and it is so freaking bouncy and soft. I'm so excited about this one. And then this is the velvet one, which I have right here. It's also really, really um, bouncy. It's a lot more bouncy than it was when I first, um, when it was dry. And it also got big. I don't have anything to compare this one to, but I can tell you that it did get bigger than when I first got it out of the package. And then this one, I have another one of these, so I'm going to open it up and show you. You can see, like, it did get bigger and it does feel a lot more bouncy than it did when it was dry. The primers that I'm going to be using today... I'm actually going to be using two different ones because I really have been liking the way they look when I use these two together. The first one is going to be the Tatcha Silk Canvas and I'm going to put that around my T-zone, especially around my nose so it can cover up my pores. And then around the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. So on the right side of my face, I'm going to be using the Microfiber Rosé Velvet Sponge. And then on the left side, I'm going to be using the Cloud Sponge. So the foundation of choice is going to be the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. And I'm in the color Warm Natural number 12. I honestly do feel like it's blending the foundation pretty effortlessly. And it's taking a lot less time than it would with other sponges, I feel like. I am going to go ahead and do another layer and then we'll move on to the other side. So there's two layers of foundation with the cloud sponge and I honestly really like it. I feel like it just blended it effortlessly and it didn't take that much time. This sponge is honestly really, really bouncy and I do not feel like it's soaking up half of the product. In. So now I'm going to go ahead and dot the other side of my face and blend it out with the Microfiber Rosé Velvet Sponge. This one is not soaking up any of the product and it's honestly also blending super nicely and it is really weird to use this type of sponge. Like at first I was like, whoa, this feels kind of weird. But one thing that I do notice is that with one layer, I feel like this sponge gave me the same or even more amount of coverage that the cloud one gave me with two layers of foundation like it gave me a pretty good full coverage um type of finish look and i really really like it i think just 
the texture of the sponge is something that I need to get used to but so far I really really like it like it really gave me a pretty freaking good amount of coverage I don't feel like I need to add another layer like it's it looks like the other side like honestly probably even better it just it just looks really really good I I'm very very impressed all right guys I have done my eye makeup and my eyebrows and I have to say I have been using the brow flick non-stop and I freaking I love it I love the way my eyebrows look with it so for concealer I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer in the shade 360 cashmere I have to say it is really giving me a full coverage concealer look but I'm not sure if I like this sponge for concealer blending I feel I usually like something that's a little wet um, just so it can melt the concealer into my foundation that's like definitely full coverage I just feel like it's not blending it as good as a really wet um, sponge would blend it so I'm gonna take a sponge and kind of just do some damage control <laughs> around this area I'm just gonna nonetheless like it really did give me a full coverage um, look like it really gave me the full capacity of this concealer like or not capacity is it capacity I don't know what I'm saying but now we're talking so I wet it a little bit and I think that's what I just need to do I just need to wet it before blending out my concealer because it does like dry pretty fast I mean it is microfiber so I guess it makes sense now I'm gonna do the other side with the cloud sponge I'm also going to go ahead and take that same brush and kind of, which is something that I honestly always do around my tear duct just to blend out the concealer a little bit more seamless. And I honestly just love this cloud sponge. It's so freaking bouncy, so soft, and I just, I love it. Now I'm going to be taking the KKW Contour Stick in Light Medium. Okay, so I don't know if I'm liking the way it's blending it out. I feel like it's not actually blending it out. I don't know if it's because this product is a little bit thicker and um, not as liquidy. I'm just going to go ahead and take a brush to blend that out because it's just not blending. Oh wow, like this one is just blending right away. I love that. I love how effortlessly the cloud sponge just blends everything that I put in my face. I'm going to take the ColourPop blush stick in the color Mini Me and I am going to apply that to my cheeks. So let me just go ahead and give you the rundown of these two sponges. So first I have the Microfiber Rosé Velvet Sponge. Yes, this is a different type of sponge and the name just sounds weird. But it's not as weird as you would think it is. It's pretty soft, honestly. I will say, while I was using it, because it is microfiber, I felt like it was getting dry faster than any of my other sponges do. So I did have to wet it a couple of times because this dry is just... Yeah, I just don't like dry sponges in general. But I will say that this sponge just gave me the product's full capacity of coverage. Like... It just, it didn't take any of the product away and it just blended it really, really nicely without soaking up any of the product. Especially with my cream blush, like it just gave me such a nice rosy type of look and I honestly love it. And I don't feel like it took away any 
of the product. I've already said that like 37 million times. I'm sorry guys. Let's talk about the cloud sponge now, which I have right here. So this is my left side. This, I think, okay, I love both of them. I can't choose one. But if I really, really had to, I think I would do the cloud because this thing is so soft, so bouncy, and it blends things so effortlessly and so quickly. Like I feel like the products that I was putting on my face, it was blending in them. Well, it was blending them, but it was also just melting them into my skin and they just look so natural and I just, I love it. So first of all, what am I gonna rate these sponges? So the velvet one, I'm gonna give it a nine, not because it's different and I feel kind of weird about it, I'm not used to it, but because I just didn't like how it wasn't blending or doing anything when I was trying to blend out the contour stick. But other than that, I honestly just love how it gave me like a full coverage. Like it did not soak up any of the product, which I've already said like 37 million times. So anyways, now the cloud sponge, I'm going to give this one a 10 just because it really blends effortlessly and I feel like all the products are melted onto my skin and it makes my makeup just look so, so natural. It looks like I just, I don't know, like I just, I love this sponge. So this one gets a 10. 10 out of 10 recommend, 9 out, nine out of 10 recommend. Um, I still love both of them and I, I'm still going to use them, especially this one for when I need like a full glam, very full coverage type of look. And this one, I think this is going to be my now go-to sponge for everyday looks. Alright guys, so before signing off, I do want to say thank you again to those of you who have subscribed, who those of you who keep up and really are supporting my videos. I am really passionate about these. I love filming and I love editing and I really hope that you guys can see that and are enjoying it. So to say thank you, I want to give away all of these products to you. Not these, because these are mine. <laughs> and I would never give away used products, oh my god. But I want to give away all of these things to you guys, to my subscribers, my couple of you guys. <laughs> um, so all you have to do, all the roles will be down in the description below. So just read that and I really hope that you guys enter. And if you got to this point of the video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now you could win all of these things. So anyways, thank you so, 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 so much for sticking around and watching my videos. I really hope that you subscribe because it's free and it's a fun time. So until next time, bye guys.